If I lost uh, consecutive two trades, then I cut my risk down to one percent. Uh, my whole idea is to I have to survive in the market. Hi, Debitan. How are you? I'm fine. Good stuff. Maybe you could just introduce yourself to the community. Tell us a bit about yourself, where you're living, how long you've been trading, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, I'm from Calcutta, India. I'm trading for the past almost three years and last uh, six to seven months, I've been profitable. Okay, all right, okay. What do you trade? I trade uh, the GU only. GU, okay, cable, yeah. pound USD. Okay, and you're a, uh, what sort of trader are you? What style of trading uh, do you do? Uh, mostly I do intraday. Uh, my holding period max to max, eight hours to nine hours. Uh, sometimes I hold uh, for the next day, if it requires. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what sort of setups are you looking for? Are you a supply and demand trader or are you a smart money trader? Uh, actually, it is a mix of uh, almost three different patterns. Uh, I have a mix of ICT, supply demand, and a little bit mix of my own approach to the market. Your own approach? Okay, so what's that? Um, it's like, uh, it's saying that uh, market closes by the professionals always. So I focus more on uh, daily closing, weekly closing, and monthly closing prices. Okay, the higher time frame closing, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah candle, cl candle closing is very important. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Could you maybe share a screen? Show us an example of a trade setup. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. Um, I have drawn these few levels. Okay, so this is cable the on the purple. weekly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, I'm studying. Actually, my uh, whole approach is from top to down to monthly to daily. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. these are some monthly levels. It is my actually my uh, approach is uh, literally simple, right? I see on the areas where price rejected perfectly, like mm -hmm. this level two seven three one four level. Yeah. I mark that on my chart, then I go down to weekly if I can see any special level, um, then down to the daily. Mm -hmm. Now daily I uh, I follow the uh, price to the major levels rejection, if it's come to, the, to those levels like this one, uh, 1.25489. This is the level. Mm -hmm. I could get a buy there, but uh, unfortunately, I stopped out <laughs> with a sell. This was the trade last day. Okay, so what are you looking okay. for then for a trade entry? Okay, this is my specific level, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my my whole analysis based on two different factors. One is a level based approach, and there is a direction based approach. Now, these are the level based things that I told you. Now, the, for the direction based, I look for the current momentum, uh, some liquidity grabs, uh, something like that. Okay. okay. This was the liquidity taken. If I sure. open the session range, by yesterday by London session, I took Asia high liquidity also, as well as previous day, uh, New York high liquidity. Then it uh, rejected heavily. Uh, then I shorted the market there at one hour time frame. But uh, price reversed sharply and I able to close it with a minimal loss at this point. A very few times I took the full stop loss. Most of the time I exit earlier. Um, that means uh, I most I'm more like a discretionary trader. Okay. All right. So you're just using that level in combination with lower time frame candlesticks, seeing how they close uh, into liquidity. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, the yeah. Is short, shorter or longer. Yeah, the, le the uh, levels are more important to me than the momentum shift is yeah. another thing. Okay. And uh, with that, I use fundamentals like 
the the basic things economical data yes yeah okay economic news you trade around those yeah. news events yeah i yeah. follow those news and uh, it doesn't mean that if the news is positive then market will go up it, i have to we have to understand the whole context under there what is happening actually sure okay right. interesting could you maybe share a funded next dashboard so we can see your statistics? Sure, sure. Give me a minute, please. Sure. Okay, so you currently got a oh. running out at a 25k Stellar account? <clears throat> yeah. Currently, I'm um, a little drawdown on my live account, uh, this one. Okay, can we see your stats? If you were to trading overview and yeah, there we go. So win rate 28, loss rate 70. Yeah. What is the your thing point? is, uh, the thing is my most of the analysis go wrong, but despite of that, I able to make money because of my uh, rigid risk management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a good risk reward, one to four. Um, yeah. Average winning trades $88, average losing trades 21. Yeah, that's, yeah, so even with a 28% win rate, you will make money yeah through. um actually uh, my um, my whole uh, trading system based on my risk management system right uh, i add more quantity on my winning side and when i'm my trade is going wrong i just cut it as soon as possible mm. yeah okay good stuff all right all right thanks for sharing that you can close the uh you. You close the phone app now if you like so where you mentioned risk management just where did you learn your risk management and what what you use to manage risk i i actually learned risk management from different platforms different youtube channels like yeah uh, the mo most important thing i learned from uh, like a guy nick sean he's on youtube nick uh, and yeah yeah his okay his whole strategy based on statistics how statistics works and for my you know, initial career i wasted two years trying to be right in the market mm -hmm. then when i realized that being right is not the thing that you can make money okay so yeah, that's very true then, yeah no yeah risk reward yeah, yeah um, it's very important didn't have to be right all the time no yeah, managing 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 the downside is the key thing here mm -hmm. okay and what sort of so how do you do that how do you manage your downside are you risking a certain percent per per trade uh when i when i got my uh, uh new account now when i'm on my initial balance i risk two percent per trade idea then okay. if i go down uh if i lost uh consecutive two trades then i cut my risk down to one percent okay. and uh it is like that then another two uh, losing trade then it is 0 0.5 percent um, uh, my whole idea is to I have to survive in the market. That's it. Okay. Okay. And you. So how do you do? You actively manage your trades, or do you let them just run to take take profit? No. Uh, no. I actively manage my trade. Okay. And you're looking to what, take partials, move to break even, that kind of thing. No, I never take partials. I uh, if my trade idea is going at my direction and my market is doing like my viewpoint, then I add more quantity on the side and if it is directly reversing then i can close the trade in small profit, small loss okay okay i see all right so you're allowed to a trade move your stop to break even yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah it stops to keep the risk the same sure okay yeah right. yeah okay and you just trade you just trade cable nothing else what you just trade uh pound usd and nothing else uh, no, nothing else. I am recently uh, planning to add uh, USD CAD. I'm doing lots of fundamental research about the Canadian dollar. Then I will slowly add it. Okay. All right. So you're looking into a Canadian dollar. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. All right. How do you find trading since with Funded I, Next? Since, uh, yeah. How do you how do you find trading with Funded Next? Actually, I was uh, trading my personal account uh, like uh, last year. Uh, June, July, then I, sorry, it's my, uh, last year, June, July, then I found a uh, prof firm, 
then i uh, did a lot of research then i got funded next and there are features i got interested in that's why mm-hmm. i go in then when i buy, buy the first challenge uh, they are they are supporting uh, the back end team is very good they supports all the time mm-hmm. that is the best thing i like good all right so you're happy with the support okay good stuff you're happy with the uh, trading environment yeah definitely yeah happy with it Okay, Dr. John, thanks for your time. Uh, good luck with the trading, good luck with the account, and hopefully speak Thank to you, you again. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.